We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Space Coconut. Okay, well, it looks like we got a sneak peek as to the new killer. Everybody should know this by now. The ghost is coming to Dead by Daylight. Hooray! It's pretty interesting. Um, I, I, these leaks that they've done, I don't know. I want to say that they're intentional. But, I mean, the mid-chapter mid patch came out today, and that's a pretty good thing. I know I was really hyped for the collapse and all of that. So... To deliberately leak this, I don't know, it's whatever, but now we have to have something exciting to look forward to when when the mid-patch mid-chapter patch came out, that was what we were looking forward to. So I think they're kind of I think this is a carrot and the stick sort of thing. They're they're kind of leading us on with, hey, this good thing is coming on in the future. Stick with us. But anyway, whatever they're doing, this 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 leak is pretty neat. So his power is called Shrouded Hunt in Stock. And it's already been compared uh, to Myers and Pig, uh, that it's a combination of both of their powers. The ghost can move stealthily, crouch, lean around corners, and stalk survivors. His primary power is Shrouded Hunt, during which the ghost has no terror radius. His secondary power is Stalk. The ghost can stalk individual survivor to give the exposed status for a limited time. The ghost also has the ability to crouch freely and lean around a corner while stalking. So this would explain um, all of the different sound effects that were found earlier in the week. Um, you're going to need a lot of those effects to cover each of these different things. The sound of him while he's in stalk mode, while he's stalking, while the survivor is being stalked, while they're in exposed status, while he's crouching, uh, maybe while he's leaning. You know, all of those little sounds that are going to affect his power. It made sense that he would have so many. As for the effectiveness of this power, it sounds amazing. But the, pre the pig can crouch too. Um, the speed, it, it says that he can crouch freely. So maybe that means um, that uh, he'll be able to truly teabag, that he'll be able to drop down and crouch immediately. The problem would come with uh, how fast his terror radius disappears when he crouches, how long it takes, um, how long it takes his stock ability to trigger the exposed status on a survivor. It has to take some time because, I mean, if you run up on a survivor, crouch, use the ability, they gain exposed, and you smack them down, it, there's almost no counterplay to that. I mean, it'd be really, really overpowered. So one of those things is going to take an extraordinary long period of time. Either crouching is going to be slow like the pig, and they're going to lose uh, the terror radius slowly. While in crouch, they're going to probably be slower. So covering the map and finding a survivor while stocked is going to take a lot of time. Um, time that we might not have. What else? If the stock itself takes a long time, the, sur the survivor, even though the ghost can look around corners, they can still see the, <laughs> the little ghost face around the corner. Um, if they notice it before you can get that stock off, um, they'll hide just like they do with Myers, and um, you're going to be running around corners and, or running around loops and things like that while this, while you're trying to catch on to the survivor. The power, this power, depending. Uh, <laughs> Depending on how this, the crouch works, I think the crouch is going to be the most important part for, for the ghost. The crouch is too slow if the terror radius goes away, if his movement speed is too slow. It's going to take the stealthiness aspect away from him, similar to what, it, what they did for the pig. The pig was supposed to be a stealthy killer, but because of the way her crouch works, it's not effective to be in crouch and wander around the... Uh, the map looking for survivors, uh, not, especially not on the big maps. So depending on what the numbers are for these abilities, that's going to dictate how good this killer is. And the reason for this is because his power does not help him in loops whatsoever. Once a chase starts and once they have exposed, he, he should be able to only hit them once to down them. But I mean, that loops can still last long enough to get out of the exposed status. I guess that's another... <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess that's another thing to consider is how long is a limited time? You know, if it's uh, six seconds, ten seconds, it's not going to be very long because, I mean, 
I don't know. But if it's anything less than 15 seconds, which is, you know, I think that's how long it takes to trigger uh, the first blood, uh, bloodlust. It's it's not going to be a very good power if, if the expose lasts that long. But I guess that'll be um, dependent on how good his crouch ability is, how, how good his stock ability is. The uh, short expose status might be enough to um, sneak up and get that hit. Who knows? But back to the problem is Loopy. <clears throat> I have a tonsil thing going on and uh, I <clears throat> I may have to get my... Oh my goodness, this just happened. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Um, I have a tonsil thing going on and uh, I may have to get them out. <laughs> so if I do, uh, my fiance tells me that uh, I'm going to be mute for like three weeks. So if that happens, I'm 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 gonna do something. I'm gonna have to do something different with the videos. So heads up on that. I'll keep you updated. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Oh, and yeah, just because I'm in the hospital doesn't mean I'm not gonna post a video. Yeah, not that. Out. Anyway, um, chasing, looping. So yeah, his power doesn't help him in a loop in a chase um, directly. So that that problem, you know, will still exist for the ghost. And depending on how long the exposed status uh, lasts, it can be pretty detrimental, uh, making him as good as the pig is um, currently. Well, I guess currently yesterday before the mid-chapter patch today, which she should be garbage. Anyway, so it'll be interesting to see what the numbers are on this. I've never liked the Scream movies. I think I only liked the first one. So seeing Ghostface, I mean, it's cool, but I'm not, I'm not like, over the moon excited. I'm excited about the prospect of another sneaky killer, but I mean, we know how Myers and Pig work, so it's kind of meh for me. But but it's just for me because I'm I don't like the chase uh, of a of a of a chase. I don't like the chase as much as I like planning ahead and watching a survivor fall into my trap from a distance and then capitalize on it. That that's more enjoyable to me. So these chasing killers aren't aren't that big of a deal. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, the ghost. Uh, he's going to be dependent on what numbers. <clears throat> he's going to be dependent on which numbers um, they give him in the end. So taking a quick look at this, this perk. We only have one perk available. Simple formula. You become obsessed with one survivor. When your obsession is hooked, the perk receives a token. Each token decreases your terror radius while in a chase by 4 meters up to a total of uh, 4. 2, 3, 4, so 16 meters. When a survivor rescues another survivor from a hook, the rescuer becomes the obsession. You lose all your tokens if the obsession is sacrificed or killed. So, once you have the 4 tokens, you in a chase, you can lower your terror radius by 16 meters. Um, 16 meters so okay so on the hag as an example her lower is 28 so minus 16 that's a 12 meter tear radius that's the same distance that uh it takes to um uh see an aura from a deer stalker okay so this is going to be really really good on on chasing killers but you know i'm not if you're chasing you should be relatively close to them anyway except for the way that i've been playing um except for the way that i've been playing um freddy this might be pretty powerful on freddy um because once your terror radius is lowered in a chase um you'll be able to find the uh, sleeping survivors um easier if they lose you then you're i don't know this seems really weird uh, having a lower terror radius um up to 12 meters which in my mind is still pretty far away during a chase I don't know. It doesn't sound that great. It sounds interesting at the very most, at the very, at the most, but I can't, because I don't like chasing, I can't think of a good scenario where this is, you know, great. So I think this one's kind of interesting. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it works and, you know, unless it gets tossed to the side like Hangman's trick, but I'm not sure. I think this would be much better if uh, it also removed the red stain. <laughs> if it made it more faint uh, by a percentage for each rank, that might be that might be good. Or if you're in a chase for long enough, maybe throw Beast of Prey with this, and then you can, I don't know, <laughs> be be really sneaky during a chase. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't sound that great to me. Um, it sounds interesting at the, at the most. But what is interesting 
is that he also comes with some cosmetics, which this is the first time that a, a, a licensed killer uh, has had cosmetics. And I think the, the most important part for me is that you can buy them with iridescent shards. The price is still too, way too high for the for the speed at which we get them. But the fact that you can get licensed cosmetics with shards is a really big deal. <clears throat> I think I like... Uh, I'm kind of a fan of this one. It's like Red Ninja. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that one. But depending on how the stock works, if your head pokes around, this is going to be really visible on most maps. So if you're going for stockiness, really the original hood's probably going to be better for stealth play. But yeah, I think I like the, this red one better. Oops. The one's kind of nice too. Um, but, and just in time for her to be uh, gutted and nerfed into the ground, uh, looks like the pig came with some new cosmetics also. And I'm kind of digging this shirt. Um, who knows what it's called, but like the others, um, these seem to be purchasable with iridescent shards also, which is pretty cool. The leather, the leather jacket really works and this really sick, gross looking pig head is pretty cool, especially with the, the dark eyes on it. Really, really dark. Uh, it looks like, it looks like it's going to be sick. Like it's, it's been rotting for a while. I think I really like this one very much. Um, it's too bad the pig isn't, uh, very good but we're starting to get these uh these uh, licensed cosmetics so it's gonna be pretty uh, they they weren't uh wrong during that uh, creators council about a lot of stuff changing and a lot of stuff going on um but here's one thing uh that i i found while uh looking for these uh, these pig cosmetics oops not that <laughs> charms now, nobody knows uh, what these charms are, but these go in the cosmetics area. Um, yeah, it, there's no way of knowing what it is. But thankfully, since it's in the customization area, it's probably not going to have that big of an effect on, um, on gameplay. Yeah, so there's another thing to think about. Uh, what are these charms? What are they going to be? I guess we'll hear more about that in the future, but I don't know. They're doing some interesting things, but you know me, I would much rather them focus on, uh, put the focus on balance and such. But I'm not going to say that some of these cosmetics and some of these licensed things are pretty cool at the very least. So with all of that out of the way, I might be able to get a, uh, I might be, be able to get a match in, uh, in during the, uh, collapse, uh, during the, uh, after the, before work. Blah, 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 blah. I might be able to get a match in before work. Actually, I'm lying because I'm going to edit this video and that's going to take up all my time. So I'm not going to play that until tonight. Uh, I have a lot of videos from the blood hunt coming up. So collapse videos are going to come out maybe next week or so. Um, but that's just because I needed to crank out videos to work on the map. So yeah, thanks for being patient. I know you guys want to see collapse stuff because the collapse, the collapse is a game changer. And I think it's going to make certain killers very powerful so and, and certain perk setups very powerful so i'm gonna play with that tonight or maybe not i have to work on that stupid map eh, anyway um i got a lot of stuff going on um but anyway until we get more information on this you know let's just we don't have to speculate we can speculate whatever we can kind of google the pig in some of these things but uh yeah today was inter an interesting day you guys have a good one and i'll see you in the fog